That is not a sword by any stretch of the imagination. That is just a dagger. I mean, they all do the same job. It's just it just looks a little bit different and more intimidating, <laughs> depending on your preference. Oh my God, are we, are we finally gonna do a mission now? I mean, you just dragged me through 30 minutes for a, uh, a, 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 a clothing item, it seems. A bad penny. Ooh, bad penny. Says Leonard, bad penny. Penny's been a bad girl. It's time to punish Penny. Oh, he would never do that. <laughs> well, what say you? You're not going to like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Aberline family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <coughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? Just walk to the front door. bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. Yeah. In disguise. Tupini won't be leaving that vault.
the head of security. He's walking like a pimp. thinking that this bank should have more security around it considering you know all things considering but in order to look less suspect basically having a look as though nothing's wrong you know makes it more believable <laughs> you know what they're trying to do the vault watcher Yeah, I'll make some coffee. One second. Be right back. Vault scratcher. Fancy. Fitting for Tupany's tomb. Jumping off here. Wow. That is just straight up murder. <laughs> yeah. I just walked back in on a killing. I didn't shoot him. Your <laughs> old men shot him. Let's see. Kidnap the head of security. I think we just killed him. Just killed the uh I think the uh vault watcher. Okay, that makes sort of makes sense. Let's see, what am I playing at here? The bank manager. A dick by association. Okay. 
actually big sections of the bank are still open to the public. It's only certain areas that are red. So yeah, I could have walked in the front door. Kind of surprised. I'm still watching like the Battlefield 4 speed run. I see this character. Her name's Hannah. She runs in the battle with zero armor on. She's like, "Yo, you're okay." And right now, um, this person's at the party game. We have to like retake the uh, like an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, maybe, maybe wearing some armor may have been a good choice here." But uh, you know, female characters in games they they rarely get armor because you know eye candy. Hello. Someone get her! Where is Tupini? Please! I have a family. He's in the vault ogling his priceless paintings. This is like a heavy rainbow. Please! I have a daughter. It's like, I'm a father too. Pop, pop, pop! Pop! Oh, wait. Blam, 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 blam! Blam, blam! That, that's how you say it, right? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, in all fairness, Ethan only shoots him once. <gasps> I think I put the coffee on at like the 30 minute mark. No, nope. I think 32 minute mark, so. I'll check on it in uh, three minutes. The thirty-seven mark, thirty-seven minute mark, I guess.
Please, don't harm me. I'll assist you. What would you have me do? I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. Oh, bugger. What's going on now? Right, right this way, sir. Minutes, the please. records are stored in here. Sweet coffee. Load it with a bunch of sweetness and sugar. Just the way I like it. You know, that's a like it. Uh, that's an ass of people. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. He just pops up. That's the, the last one. <laughs> Assassinate Tinpenny. Mr. Starrick will be pleased with our work tonight. Mr. Starrick is rarely ever pleased at anything. Master! And we just walk away. Like a G. <laughs> How poetic. Your own men killing you. And just wait until he falls. And dead. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, You're not wrong. yours. Assassin. Without our investments, there would be no city. Well, he is right, in a way. Tch. 
for the path of the dead. station. Bank of England is closed until further okay, notice. Nobody's listening, dude. <laughs> so, you know, he had his chance for a one-liner and he and he goofed it up. The Bank of England is closed. Nah, no, 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 no. It's like a penny for your thoughts. <laughs> Or, yeah, or it could have been like something penny related, like, uh. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, twopenny brutally murdered. And yet, Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Wait, what? Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your bones, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? And we can have it all. What say you, uh, sir? Okay. <laughs> Shall I come to the jewels? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. Oh my god, I finished the game. <laughs> well, Battlefield 4. Speed run. Now we're watching Doom Ultra Nightmare. A letter. For me? Rip and tear. Know your enemy. Meltdown. Beginning of the end. Argent Tower and the Wall. A game for our current times. It's kind of hard to believe Trump's greatest legacy may be the Wall. <laughs> that will inevitably get torn down. <laughs> I mean, there's already a wall there at the border. It's called a fence.
Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly.